Good morning, good day, and good evening. This is Liam, the Retro Gamer 91, back with Pokemon Crystal Part 12. So it's been a little while again. I don't know why I keep doing these hiatuses, but I'm back. And the last thing we did was clear out the radio tower and completely crush Team Rocket. As a, re as a reward, we did actually get the clear bell. Uh, which is a key item uh, that is used in Ecruteague City. So that's going to be our next stop. And probably what we'll do for this ep this episode. So it makes a gentle ringing. Now what that's used for is basically getting access to Tim Tower. So we're going to have our first legendary match of the game. Uh, which is of course Suicune. Now we've seen him out and about all over Johto really, he's been observing us, following us, and now it's time that we have our battle with him. Now, let's actually just have a check because I'm thinking that we're grossly unprepared for him. Yes, yeah, so we've got one Great Ball, one Law Ball, one <laughs> 31 Pokeballs and three Ultra Balls. I don't think we're going to get anything that's decent with that type of Arsenal. So, let's see. And with this being still in golden map, we've of course got this giant market. Mm, how many of them can I get? Okay, so we can... I'll get 50, which is 30,000. So we'll do that. It's left us with a decent amount still. I'll get a couple of revives, just because I've got a feeling I'm going to need them. Um, hmm. I don't think there's anything else that he can possibly do to me. Suicune's moveset, if, uh, if I can remember correctly, is Bubble Beam, uh, Gust, I think Rain Dance. Um, and I can't remember the last move, but I don't think he can, he can't do anything that can possibly put me to sleep or uh, paralyze me, so I think we're good to go. I think he's also level 40 as well, as a, if I remember correctly, so we do out-level him with one Pokemon. Uh, I've got a semi-decent even ground-ish with Gyarados, I suppose, level 31. Uh, everything else is just fodder. <laughs> Pseudo Wudo might do something, but with him being rock type, I don't think he's going to last long against uh, Bubble Beam. So I think, yeah, Gust is the uh, is the move that uh, Suicune knows. So I don't think that's the only thing that can possibly hurt Meganium. Uh, but instead of walking to Ecruti, we'll just fly there. So let's get going. Oh, to Tim Tower. We've been here before, or we've tried to get in here before. Oh. A momentous event has occurred. I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. Ah, the sound of the of that clear bell. It it's sublime. Sublime. <laughs> I've never heard so I've never heard so beautiful a sound before. That bell's chime is in indicative in, in, in indicative. I don't know why I have trouble saying that there. Of the bearer's soul. You you may be able to make you may be able to make it through Tin Tower. Please do go on. Oh, a bit of a word jumble then. My apologies. Ooh. Okay. Ambush. Legend has it that upon the emergence of a trainer who has the ability to touch the souls of Pokemon, a Pokemon will come forth and put that trainer to the test at the Tin Tower. The legend has come true. The legendary Pokemon Suicune has arrived. We, the wise trio, shall test your wor worthiness to go inside. And we 
are now being approached by Sage Gaku with a knockdown level 32. Okay, well, we'll just body slam him. This is actually going to be annoying. I don't think... After these battles, I don't think we're going to get a auto-heal. Like, I don't think we're, our, our power points or our HP are going to be uh, reset. So, whatever condition we're in after we've beaten these three is what I'm expected to battle Suicune with. I'm guessing. I, I just... I don't recall, or I don't remember really, uh, getting like a, a revive, so to speak, or uh, like a, a heal at all after this. I could be wrong. Well, in any case, that Flareon didn't uh, stand up much, did it? Sage Gaku was defeated. Stronger than we thought, perhaps. Oh, good, I'm making me money back. Ah, so it is you who claim to have seen Suicune, Entei, and Raikou while they slept. Unbelievable. Legend has it that they can't be seen while they sleep. Okay. Can you be trusted with the truth? I must ascertain your worth in this. And you are Sage... Massa? What do you have? Another knockdown. Okay, so level 32 knockdown. Body slam. Okay, so... The body slam works to a certain degree, and then... Knocked out use heck. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened on the previous match. So let's have a look. Now Jolteon's next. Okay, so I'm, I presume the other sage is gonna have like Vaporeon. Because the previous one had Flareon, so it would make sense. Ecrotique seems to like the evolution a lot. The kimono girls have them all. Sage Massa was defeated. I will tell you the truth. Another 2,000. I'm making me money back pretty quickly. In the past, there were two nine-tier towers here. The Brass Tower, which was said to aw awaken Pokemon, and the Tin Tower, where Pokemon were said to rest. The view from the tops of the towers must have been magnificent. At the time, an immense silver-coloured Pokemon was said to make its roost atop the brass tower. However, about 150 years ago, a lightning bolt struck one of the towers. It was engulfed in flames and raged for three days. A sudden downpour finally put out the blaze, and that is how the burned tower came to be. Let me see your power. Well, you're, you're a bit more direct than the previous two sages. What's your name? Sage Koji. I'm so sorry if I've just butchered your name. Starting with a knockdown once again. Level 32. Okay, so they've all been level 32 knockdowns. That should mean that this body slam I'm going to use will leave you with very little HP. Like the previous one. And now you've used Peck. So I've had, I've had three Pecks. The, the, the first bit of these three battles has been identical. Now, I'm going to guess you've got a Vaporeon. And the last one is a Vaporeon. Okay, this one I'm not going to use Body Slam. I'll just use Razor Leaf. Level 32. Ooh, you got that in, didn't you? Gonna be a one-hit KO? Oh, so close. Ah, you used quick attack before, didn't you? You took your turn away. Well, there we go. The three sages are defeated. Level 48. 
Sage Koji was defeated. Too strong. Why? Another 2,000. You. Are you the trainer who is awaited by the legendary Pokemon? I see. We, the wise trio, have been given the responsibility of protecting the legendary Pokemon. We are to allow passage only to those people who possess the power and soul of truth. Please do go on and enter the Tin Tower ahead. Suicune will put you to the test. Okay. And he said the same thing. Okay. So, I'm going to save it. I don't usually do this until like, the end of each episode, but Legendary Battles is something a bit special, so I'm going to save it in advance. 20 Pokemon. <laughs> that's, uh, that's embarrassing, actually. 7 badges, 20 Pokemon, nearly 9 hours of gameplay. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Okay, in we go. Actually, before, just before we do go in, do I have anything that can possibly heal myself to maximum? I don't. Ooh, what's that? Powers of Grass type moves. Okay. I don't want to kill Suicune. That's actually something to consider. <laughs> I might actually make him faint. I don't want to do that either. I'm going to have to be really cautious with this. There they are. Raikou. Entei. Suicune. Ooh, that bell chime. As a child, that, that, that terrified me. Just the randomness of having it play in the grass always made me jump. Okay, so let's start with a body slam and let's hope to... He's level 40. I don't think it'll make him faint, but let's just see. Oh, paralyzed. Brilliant. And he's used Gust. That's the only thing I can think of that, that could hurt me. Super effective. Bubble Bean's not going to do anything to me. Uh, do I want to try Razor Leaf? He is water. I'll see how much this hurts him. I don't think it's attack power is as powerful as Body Slam. But type advantage is going to... Oh my god. That was close. Oof. Oof. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's just start throwing things at him. Start with the Great Balls. You're paralyzed and you've got like 1% HP. Let's hope this is just an easy legendary catch. Oh, you're gonna be annoying, aren't you? You're fully paralyzed, I can just throw balls until... Well, until you're caught, really. There's nothing you can do to hurt me anymore. Oh, come on. He's fully paralyzed. I'm just scared of him potentially making himself faint, but that's going to be many moves later. But he's out of all available moves. Leah, that's the fourth move. I can't believe I forgot that. Okay, that's not five bars. It's over but Let's try an Ultra Ball. Let's, let's hope we get lucky. He's paralyzed. That's a good thing to do. Okay, so you're just going to be lowering my defense. What are you hoping to do? Trying to lower my defense enough and then use Gust? Oh, come on. Bubble Beam. Oh no. I think you've just watered the flower on me. Oh, let's try this last Ultra Ball. Might as well. You know, if I had chosen Cyndaquil as my starter, this would have been a nightmare of a battle. I'm gonna say I'm guessing, because I've never chosen Cyndaquil before. But type type advantage would have been interesting. Oh come on, Suicune, just let go. There's nothing you can do to win this match. He's paralyzed. Pseudo Wudo, if you got one hit in would would defeat you right now. Just give up. It's 
something to consider is what if he just keeps doing this and I run out of balls? That's gonna be awkward. Come on. Oh, come on! He's not even rolling once. What more do I have to do to you? Put you to sleep? Wow. Okay, that did more damage than I kind of thought it would. Come on, please, please, please. He's fully paralyzed, the rain stopped, okay. Uh, do I actually have any healing items? Let's have a look. I don't do I, otherwise I would have already used them before the match started. So, all I can really do is let Meganium faint and then revive him. Come on, please, please, please. Oh, please, just stay in the ball. This will make me faint now. Hey, okay, so we'll go on to the next one. We'll get Garrett ourselves. The foe's weak, but don't dare touch him or even breathe at him because you might kill him. Come on. Oh, yes, it. Oh, come on! Oh, I thought once it started rolling it would be a sure thing, even if he is a legendary. Come on, please. Oh, stop being awkward. You've just bubble beamed a fish. I'm saying this like he can potentially use other moves, but <laughs> sorry, but Suicune is locked in just knowing a few things, isn't it? Oh, come on, please. Didn't you just use Rain Dance a second ago? Come on. Just roll, please. Ugh. He's full fully paralyzed. I suppose that's a, a way of making the match a bit longer. He's not going to waste moves and potentially run out and kill himself. Oh, come on, please, just... Fully paralyzed. You can't really do anything to hurt me. Come on, roll. Oh, come on. He's doing that annoying thing. All legendaries do this. It's so frustrating. If this was any other Pokemon, I'd have caught it already. In this condition, where they're paralyzed with like one HP left, I'd have caught it. <sighs> and I'm using, I'm not using just rubbish Pokeballs either. They might not be as good as Ultra Balls, but you know, they're, they're middle tier. They're decent. These have got any, these have got a better chance than Pokeballs. So just, ah, here we go, here we go. Oh, you. Ah. I know that the dialogue said, ah, but that was a genuine frustration then, so quite fitting, I suppose. Come on, please. Oh, he's doing that damn thing again. Oh, he's used a different move on me. Come on. This is just reminding me so much of... Ooh, oh, you annoying... This is reminding me so much of the episode during my red playthrough with Articuno, Zapdos and Moltres. Hey, okay. Come on, Great Ball, do your thing. Oh, come on. Please. Anyone do that thing as a child where they that where they press like A and B, making uh, just because there was some rumor going around that it that it helped with the uh, capture of Pokemon. Come on, oh, because I'm really thinking about doing that just right now, just in case it does something. Please. Oh. I 
this race, I'm gonna run out of balls. I got close to catching him twice. I think it's, I think it's rolled like twice. I should have really revived the Canyon by now. Okay, fine. I'll bring another Pokemon else. Probably pseudo Pudo. Use him as a sacrifice. So, come on, pseudo Pudo. Don't touch him for the love of God. Just, just get Meganium back in the game. What am I doing? Why am I going around in circles here? Where's the revive? Here we go. Meganium. because he's rock type. Don't worry, Pseudo Rudo. And hopefully your sacrifice will not be in vain. Okay, I'm back. Got 28 more chances. Please just give up. One, two, three. Yes! Excellent! There we go, Legendary Capture complete. Suicune's data was newly added to the Pokedex. The Aurora Pokemon. This divine Pokemon blows around the world, always in search of pure reservoir. Nice. There we go, we caught Suicune. Oh no, it's him again. You've seen. Awesome! Too awesome even! I have never seen a battle that great. That was truly inspiring to see. Suicune was tough, but you were even more incredible, Gold. I heard Suicune's mystic power summons a rainbow-colored Pokemon. Maybe, just maybe, what went on today will cause that Pokemon to appear. I'm going to study the legends more. Thanks for showing me that fantastic battle. Later, Gold. Okay, you weirdo. Okay, so these are the three sages, aren't they? According to legend, when the souls of Pokemon and humans commune, from the heavens descends a Pokemon of rainbow colors. Could it mean that the legendary Pokemon are testing us humans? When the brass tower burned down, three nameless Pokemon were said to have perished. It was tragic. However, a rainbow colored Pokemon, in other words, Ho-Oh, descended from the sky and gave new life to three Pokemon. They are Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. That is what they say. The two towers are said to have been built to foster friendship and hope between Pokemon and people. That was 700 years ago, but the ideal still remains important today. Okay, well, thankfully that was just one take. We, we all did that without a need of a, a cheap reset. So we have now got Suicune, which I will be putting in my team. Because why not? I could really use any advantage I can get. There weren't people in here before. The tin tower shook. A Pokemon must have returned to the top. Okay. Two towers, two Pokemon. But when one burned down, both Pokemon flew away, never to return. Okay, so... I think I'm going to wrap it up uh, this episode. It's a, a little bit shorter than most episodes, but... I think this was an event that can just be its own self-contained video, so... Uh, what am I doing? I am going to get Suicune out the PC. So, the deposits... Oh, I don't know. Togepi, actually. Um, we want to show Togepi to... Okay, so we'll just do a brief little uh, two-second thing. Professor Elm wants to see Togepi, didn't he? And we've not been back home yet, so let's go back, show him Togepi, then we can deposit it, and guess who he has. Okay, here we go. Gold, you look great. What? That Pokemon? The egg hatched! So, Pokemon are born from eggs. No, perhaps not all Pokemon are. Wow, there's still a lot of research to be done. Thanks, Gold. You're helping unravel Pokemon mysteries for us. 
I want you to have this as a token of our appreciation. An Everstone. Okay, that's an Everstone. Some species of Pokemon evolve when they grow to certain levels. A Pokemon holding the Everstone won't evolve. Give it to a Pokemon you don't want to evolve. Kind of explanatory, you know, just by the name in itself, but thank you for the explanation. So, we'll go back to Mahogany Town, because we're going to be heading to Blackthorn City next. So we'll stop off here. Let's get Suigun out. Then we can deposit Togepi now. Oops. And we will withdraw. There you are. Suiku. So where... Oh, what am I doing? There he is. Bubble Beam, Rain Dance, Gust, and Leah. So we had Gust at a PP of 35. And Bubble Beam at 20. So if he'd continued to have been awkward... I'd have run out of balls before he ran out of moves. Okay, well, like I said, I think it's best to leave it here. Look at that, nine hours, and I've got 21 Pokemon. That's, that's shameful. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope you do consider giving a uh, like and subscribing to the channel for more videos. I am just starting to wrap up the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and I've just finished... Uh, recently the Star Wars Shadows of the Empire and the Sonic Before the Sequel fan game. Uh, so I will be moving on to two new games. Uh, one will be Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, that will actually have voiceover as well. I'm going to start a, a commentary on all my videos uh, from for these next ones anyway. I'd like to do this every, all the time but sometimes I'm just not able to. Uh, so, something to look forward to, Sonic Adventure 2, uh, Battle, I think it will be, and I'm going to be starting a Star Wars Empire at War uh, playthrough as well. Uh, we'll do the Empire at War first one, uh, starting with the Rebellion campaign, then the Empire campaign. After that, then, we'll be doing the expansion, which is Forces of Corruption. Uh, so, something to look forward to, if that's what you're interested in. I think I've already saved, but I'll save again. Uh, so by all means, uh, please do drop a like, and uh, you can always follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Twitter is at the Retro Game Ninety One, and Facebook is at the Retro Gamer Ninety One. But as always, this is Liam. Be retro.